St. Louis Cardinals hosting the Milwaukee Brewers. The Cardinals are minus 125 on the money line. The Brewers are plus 105. The over-under is seven and a half runs. The Brewers getting a run and a half are minus 190, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Cardinals laying a run and a half are plus 160, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Laura has not pitched against the Cardinals this year, and it was supposed to be Hudson, and then they changed it to Wainwright. Wainwright has pitched against the Brewers this year, he didn't pitch very well. He went four and a third, four runs, four earned. They lost that game five to one. The Brewers are on a two-game winning streak. The Cardinals are on a one-game losing streak. Head-to-head, -head, the Cardinals are seven and three in their past ten against the Brewers. The team getting a run and a half is nine and one, meaning the underdog has either won the game outright or only lost by one. The over-under at whatever the casino set it at has been five and five in their past ten meetings, and the over-under at six, uh, seven and a half is also five and five, so no help there. The road team is six and four. Now, the numbers tell you to take the Cardinals with the money line because they own seemingly the Brewers. Just this pitching matchup is the reason why I'm going to lean Brewers with the clean sweep. Brewers with the money line, Brewers with the runs, and the over. And the only reason I'm going over when you look at these guys' ERAs is because Wainwright pitched once against the Brewers this year, and it wasn't a very good outing. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong.